season's greetings. Well, we're here at the uh, lathe because we have a drippy tap. And in spite of having washers of all shapes and sizes, needless to say, I don't have the right one. I didn't have the right one last time. That's the one that's come out. You can see it's chewed and nasty. And where it sits on the flange of the tap, that's the outline of it. So this washer was too big. <coughs> this is a stock washer, which is about 980 thousandths. And what I want to do is cut this washer down, but the material, it's rubberoidy. It's horrible, and whenever you try and cut it, it just looks like a rat's chewed it. So, I've got a superb piece of high-end quality lathe. Uh, I'm going to make a rubber washer with it. Dear Lord. Right, I'll use that as a blank. I've turned up and cut off uh, a couple of discs so I can put a pre put a pressure plate against it, and the discs are just about the diameter that I'm looking for. So there we go. We've sandwiched your rubberoid washer between two discs, and that's a four millimeter uh, screw there. So what I'm going to do is tighten it into the machine. I think I've just dropped the washer. Lock off my tail stop. Pressure plate on. I'll bring you to a different, I'll bring a different angle now. All right, so it's not rocket science. My tail stock's locked off. I'm cranking in on it, on this bull nose. And that's put a lot of pressure on. And as you pull the collet in, it's going to pull it even tighter. Right, so that's locked off. Uh, unlock tail stock. But I want to maintain the pressure on here. I'll use a live center and just put a nut on the end of it. lock it off so now I've captured the whole thing I'm going to use a parting tool to finish that out I'll bring you closer in and uh, we'll have a go eh? that's a square edged parting tool uh, sometimes I'll have a round on it so that I can cut a rounded shoulder one way Or the other way so this is a square tip so I'm going to give this the beans uh, about 1300 revs come on baby So I'm cutting it from both directions. So I cut it off nice and neat. I don't want 
these little bits to get tangled. I think this one's going to. Oh, come on, beastie. So I'm bringing it in now. It's nearly to the diameter of my uh, of my boss. call that good because I don't want to uh, run the tool up onto the metal not at this speed it will be a high speed disaster right just undo that call it so I haven't you know put a nut on here and screwed it up tight I've just used friction and Believe me, that's quite a nice result. That's a, a real, quite a hard, rubbery. So, uh, I've gained brownie points from my wife, and now I'm free to do whatever I want. <laughs> right, shed guy gone. I do have another project that I'm on with, and but it's going to be a bit of a slow burner. So that was just a quickie. Smashing. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.